I got the cash in the bag, stadium packed Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium packed Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder Cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be One of the great American church story is An Angel in Disguise. An Angel in Disguise was featured in Arthur's collection, After a Shadow and Other Stars. The sweetness of that sick child, looking over her in love, patience, and gratitude, was as honey to her soul, and she carried her in her heart as well as in her arms. A precious burden. It was featured as the short story of the day on Thursday, February 15, 2018. The word angel in the title of the story is used for the small girl child, Maggie. Her mother died and nobody wants to adopt her because of her ill health. However, a kind man, Joe, brings her to his home. His wife, Mrs. Thompson was negative about Maggie in the beginning. Afterwards, Maggie innocence brings love and joy for the Thompson family. Thus acting like an angel in disguise for them. So let us study an angel in disguise summary in detail. An angel in disguise summary is the story of a little girl Maggie. An unidentified poor woman dies from excess consumption of alcohol. The village had outcast her due to this addiction. However, the villagers felt sympathetic to her death. Hence, they arranged a proper funeral for her. That woman had three children. A farmer decided to adopt the eldest son, John, aged 12 years thinking he could assist him in his field work. Then, Mrs. Ali Balgujubli adopts Kate, who's a few years too young to work in any factory. She complained of her being undisciplined. However, the youngest child, Maggie, was left alone due to her poor health. She fell from a window at a very younger age, 
that fall damaged her spine. Thus, she was permanently bedridden. Everyone suggests sending her to the poor house. However, no one makes an effort to do something about it. After the funeral, everyone lives without even a glimpse of Maggie. However, Joe Thompson lingers. Joe works as a wheelwright in the village. He makes wooden wheels for wagons and carts. Although he looks like to be a rough man, but he is kind and loves children. To his disgrace, he and his wife are incapable to have kids. Maggie sees all the villagers retiring and also recognizes Joe still standing outside her hovel. She calls out for him and requests not to leave her alone. Joe knows his wife, Jane Thompson, very well. He was sure of her not being happy to see Maggie, yet he carries her to his home. His thought turned true. His wife was not pleased to see her. Also, she asked his husband to get rid of her at the earliest. In answer, he says that he had read Many a time in the Bible that people helping children shan't be unrewarded. Joe also requests her to put aside the bitterness of her heart. Furthermore, he asks her to look at the pity condition of Maggie. She is motherless, homeless, and permanently bedridden. Although Mrs. Thompson doesn't say anything, to her husband, her heart melts a little for Maggie. Joe tells his wife that he will make errands the next day to send Maggie to the poor house. Then he leaves for work. However, later in the night, he sees Mrs. Thompson sitting by Maggie's bed and talking or rather Maggie's answering Mrs. Thompson questions. He felt the need to keep the matter of Maggie aside. Thus, he chooses to remain quiet on this matter. He goes to see Maggie and the team for a bit. While having supper, Mrs. Thompson asks her husband as to what he's going to do with the chap. Joe tells that he would let her go to the poor house the next day. Mrs. Thompson doesn't say a word. However, Joe notices that years of bitterness has finally begun to fade off. She takes food for Maggie into her small room and waits for her to finish it. The innocence, sweetness, unconditional love, and gratitude of Maggie for them fills the gap that had been created in Mrs. Thompson's heart. She tells Joe about her desire to keep Maggie for a couple of days more. However, that day never came. They remained together forever as a family.